Hi, everybody. Welcome to Mrs. Alifante's virtual classroom, where science learning is fun. Hi, everybody. This is Mrs. Alifante again, and welcome back to our video tutorial. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how to complete your um, Newton's Laws of Motions portfolio. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right away to step two because um, for step one, here are the, the items that you'll use. And then step two, we are going to set up our experiment track. So just make sure that again, you check your message board to, for the complete file and um, submit the correct one, the completed one, so you get full credit. All right, let's begin. The purpose of this lab is for you to know the effect of the outside forces to the motion of the object. So outside forces could be air resistance or friction, or it could be like additional mass that will affect the acceleration or the motion of the object, okay? Okay, for step two, it says you are going to set up your experimental track and just simply click the book there to create a 30 degree angle ramp. So guys, you would really know um, what to do next because the next picture is highlighted. So you're just gonna simply drag and drop or better yet, read all the instructions before doing everything, okay? So I'm just gonna make it fast. By now, you should be familiar with the system already and let's just go right into our next one okay so um the ramp should look like this and you have your car with a washer so um carefully read the instructions these instructions right here so you will be guided so i'm just going to show you um how to complete each table all right so let's go jump into our table right away so take all right, so on this table, you will see that you need to measure the height of the ramp and the mass of the car and washer. So like I said, do not skip any instruction of your lesson because um, you don't really know to, uh, which page you can get this um, information. But for this one, it's on page three. But prior to this, there are a lot of video simulations that you need to do before you reach to this point, although it is on page three, if that makes sense to you. So anyway, you are going to measure that, and that's 20 centimeters, you're going to put that here. So for this video, I'm not going to put all the numbers because I want you to be responsible uh, for that one. Okay, so that's 20 um, centimeters right there, and then just click continue. And then to get the mass, this one right here, so you just simply drag the car and then put the mass right here. This is the mass of the car and the washer. So that's it for uh, for that part. And then um, next is you are going to get the distance of the car in centimeters. So this is now page four. And then you do that. And you're going to get your measuring tape. Put it on top of the book. And then measure. So you are given the measurement already. So you just put that right here. Okay. So and then click continue and you might wonder like how do i get the distance of the washers it says here uh drag the tape measure to top of the track to measure the distance of the car and the washer travel so technically those will be the same okay because the washer is on top of the car so you're going to do that for three trials and then do not forget to get the average how do you get the average again you should know it by now okay you're going to put here the average of the car traveled from the top of the track and as well as the washer. So you're going to put the information right here as well. Okay, so like I said, you should know how to get the average. All right, and then let me go to the next one. This is for table B. So for step four, we are going to demonstrate the Newton's first law. So you're going to drag the, um, you already have the book there, and then you get the measuring tape, put it on top of the book, and measure the distance of, from the top of the ramp to the book. Okay, and then hit continue. And then you're just going to put the car here. Notice that there's already a um, washer, and it hit the book, and then the washer just jumped into this distance. So what you're going to do is get your measuring tape, and then measure the distance of the washer. So you are going to put that right here. 
the distance of the car is from this point up to this point which you already measured prior to this right okay and then same thing you are going to do it three times one two three and get the average the same thing with distance of the washer add it all together divided by three continue and do it for the second trial there you have it and then just move on until you reach your third trial okay so now let's proceed to the next one so for table c is a demonstration of newton's second law so right here you are to know what is the mass for um, of one washer so you're going to drag that washer to our digital balance and then it's 4.9 so you put the 4.9 here and click continue and then right here what you're going to do is now drag the washer to the clip of the paper so you are going to put the washer right here actually prior to this you will be instructed on how to draw the line of of the ramp and all of that but um i'm just jumping to table c right away uh, to show you how to complete this part okay and then here it says this is 0.25 meters and this is 0.5 meters okay so you're going to drag the stopwatch right there so you are going to look at the time here and put your time right on this table so this will be 0.25 for this and 0.5 for this time okay and so you're just going to click on the car and then as you see here this is point um this is 2.24 so you put here 2.24 and 4.5 this is 3.16 so you're going to put it here you are going to do three trials of this one okay so you're just going to put the car back here just click on the car and then do the second trial and click the car again so this is your second trial so this is 2.21 put 2.21 here and 3.08 .3 here okay so do that three trials and then get the average again it's really important for you to know how to calculate for the average add all three divided by three if you have three trials and then put your average here very important because you are going to use the average for your next table okay, okay. so put two washers there that's 9.8 you put 9.8 there and click continue and then three washers you put it here click continue and four washers you put it right here 19.6 and click continue so basically it's all the same that you're going to what you're going to do here but this time it has different washers so we have one washer right there and you're going to just add one more this is for two washers so same thing you are going to get the time it takes for the car to reach this point so that's 1.94 you put here 4.25 and 2.69 is 4. Uh, 4.50 so to do three trials again and get the average so technically it's all the same until you reach to four washers and you got you got the average for all of them like i said it's really important that you have all these averages because you are going to use that in table e your final table okay okay so i think this is now for table d so what you will do here mass of the washers you have one two three four this is just the same as this one two three four so simply simply copy what you have here to this column okay and then here that is in grams remember and then for this one right here it is in kilograms so what you're going to do here is uh say for example for example, this is 2.3 grams. So what you're going to do is just divide it by 1,000. So that's going to be 0.0023. So this is just an example, you guys, okay? And so it's really important that you convert the mass into kilogram because calculating the force will be force is equal to mass times acceleration and the mass should be in kilograms and acceleration is in meters per second squared because force is kilogram dot meters per second squared or it's just equal to newtons we already explained that one during our live lesson okay so right here now it says the force of gravity on the washer is just equal to kilogram times your mass um meters 
second squared, which is your acceleration. So what you do is just simply 0 0.0023 times 10, which will give us 0 0.023 newtons. Guys, this is just an example. Do not copy this one. And then the applied force of washers on the car will basically, they will be the same. So we're just going to copy that one. Because force of gravity on the washers will just be equal to the applied force of the washers. So it will just be the same. And then we are going to finally do table E. Okay, so for table E, uh, from pages 17 to 22, it will just be all about table E and then the summary. So uh, we're just going to jump right here. So for uh, the equation for this is equal to um, is V1, that is your velocity 1, is 0.25. Remember our first um, um, distance that we measured the time was 0.25 meters and then divided by t1 since this is v1 so you are going to use time one but the question is, is where do we get time one so like i said we go back right here and this is your time one for one washer remember that's one washer you use time one so it's going to be 0, 0 0.25 divided by let's say for example so this say 3.0 just an example and then that is t1 right there so you are going to do divided by 3.0 and then that is equal to 0 0.083 okay yes and then v2 will be same thing 0.025 are going to divide it by t1 t2 minus t1 so where do we get our t2 from so let's go back right here so for example you got here a t2 of let's say your example here is 5.2 guys example okay so this is 5.2 and then what you're going to do is our t2 right there is 5.2 minus and our t1 was 3.0 and you just simply get the answer so if it is in parentheses you already know the math rule for this so it will be 5.2 minus 3 first so 5.2 minus 3 is equal to 2.2 and then so i think i'm just gonna put here 0.25 divided by 2.2 0.11 and then finally for acceleration it says here v2 minus v1 so this is your v2 this is your v1 so we already have that one it's going to be a is equal to v2 minus v1 our v2 is right this one so it's going to be 0 0.11 minus V1, and our V1 is this, 0 0.08. Guys, hypothetical numbers, do not copy this. Okay, this is just an example. And our T2 minus T1. So you know that our T2 minus T1 is just this, guys, right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that right there. Okay which will then be equal to 0, 0.3 divided by, you know that 5 minus 2, uh, 5.2 minus 3.0 is 0.2, which will give us 0 0.01. And this is now your acceleration and the unit is meters per second squared. You don't need to put the unit here because the unit is already here, okay? And of course, you have your guide questions before you you do this lab answer section one first and then while you're doing it answer section two after you do it answer sections three and four okay so i hope it helps and if you do have questions always email me or text me or just call me and then um, if you think this video is so fast you can just go back again and pause and because now i'm assuming that you already know how to um to do the virtual lab using our platform and you know where to find your files you know how to get the average and you know how to do the drag 
and drop virtual lab so that's it thank you so much and uh, please don't forget to like this video if this has been helpful for you subscribe to this channel for more videos of our upcoming portfolios see you later bye